Hi, my name is Rachel. Welcome back to another YouTube video. So it is Thursday, the fourth week, fourth day of semester two, and it's also the first day of February. I have first period prep, school starts at 30. Um, just finishing up my prep period right now. I'll show you what I did and then getting ready for students in about 10 minutes and then I'll check in with you at the end of the day, most likely. It's the first day of February, so filling out my pacing guide for the month for both of my classes. And as you can see, we have a week off coming up. Very exciting. I'm also out for training on one of the days this month, so it should be a pretty easy month. So for today, I just have this little slope project where they're making a basically a little park area, and then they're finding the slope between different points in their park that they're making. So this is what it looks like, and yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> so as far as the actual classes that i teach go i'm teaching integrated math one and then i'm also teaching integrated math one which with support which are both designed to be freshman classes so right when kids get into high school this is the class that they take and the support class is tricky because i have a lot of students with special education plans and a lot of students with behavior issues so it's just a lot of things going on all day like constantly just craziness and the class is maxed out at max capacity of 36 all my classes have 36 kids so i have two of the support class which is like well known for being the hardest class that you could possibly teach just because of how crazy the kids are and then i have one class that's just the regular item ones and that class let me tell you is a lifesaver it is so nice i'm like you guys are chill and calm so the beginning of half of my day is so nice because i have my prep period and then i have my chill calm class but then after lunch i'm like okay now i'm woken up and now i can deal with all the crazies because the last two classes like yes first of all just math at the end of the day in general is like why this is too much for them and second of all, the nature of it being a sport class, the class goes half speed of the regular class. So it's a lot, um, but when I compare it to what I was dealing with last year with sixth grade and the situation of everything at that school, it's like, I'm prepared. It's really not that bad. It just definitely, I have to stay on my toes and I can never be calm and chill. I have to be always, you know, ready for whatever crazy situation is gonna happen but yeah i'm used to it it gets easier with time i guess <laughs> all right i just got back from work and now i'm going to change and then go to the gym all right so i figured that instead of doing a full workout it would be more interesting if i just did some updates about my training in general because it's been a while since i've done consistent updates on here on youtube it's really been since probably last summer that i've actually been current on staying up to date with that but anyways i'm showing some of my accessories first i really really love single leg accessories like with a burning passion it's my absolute favorite thing to do in the gym right now i'm running reverse lunges and single leg romanian deadlifts these are some ghr extensions and they seem very very easy but if you haven't done them in a while they really burn your hamstrings and then these are actually very challenging i've been trying to work on getting lower in my positioning for these because it's surprisingly hard to go down to full range of motion on them they're called Cossack squats, and then these are just some single arm rows. And then also I have some RDLs here, but just in general, my training split has been pretty much the same for the last two years. So on Saturdays, that's the first day of my training week, I have squats, and it is my primary squat day, so it's my heaviest squat day of the week. On Sundays, I have my primary bench day, my heaviest bench day of the week. And on Mondays, I have my primary deadlift day, my only deadlift day of the entire week. And then on Wednesdays, I have my secondary squat and secondary bench day. It's been very light squats lately. And then I've been pushing my bench a little bit more, but for the higher volume repetition range. And then on Thursdays, I have another bench day, but extremely light, especially since it's after another bench day, even though I don't have any other upper body exercises on the Wednesday prior. But there's just a little bit of more pumpy volume upper body accessories afterwards. But yeah, that's pretty much it as far as my split goes. Training has been going really, really well. So my last competition was in October, October 21st of 2023 to be precise. And I ended up getting a 242 pound squat, 165 pound bench and 369 pound deadlifts. Those are my current competition 
maxes and now I've been hitting literally it's been so insane how many PRs I've been hitting it's been non-stop like one right after the other even right here this was on a bad day and I was mad about this <laughs> like I was mad thinking that it should have moved faster but granted this was a high fatigue day and I still pulled three reps at 319 pounds which is insanity because I could barely rep that out in my last prep so now being able to do that very chill week two is pretty cool and then like I said on Wednesdays those are my very very light squat days that's what that was just an acclimation single and then I actually ended up hitting another PR this was six reps at 145 pounds on bench and my bench has been the most challenging lift to progress for myself like I've been stalled out for a long time I first hit 165 pounds with a pausing competition December 2022 and it's taken me a really really long time to get my bench up but it's finally on the right track this is like I said I have a very very light bench day right after my heavier secondary bench day and this was just some lights to the six but Anyways, that's all for training re re recaps and updates. I'll hop into the next segment. All right, so I'm back at home and I figured I'd fill in the gaps between when I first got to school and now my segment of me coming home because I am someone who waits until the very, very last second humanly possible to get out of bed because it does not make sense for me to wake up early and have a super long drawn out morning routine. And I literally don't even want to do that just to film a clip. Like, I'm rushed in the morning, but not rushed to where I'm like stressed out. It's just, I get out of bed and boom, 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 ready to go. That's just how I like to be. But anyways, I get up at 7.30. I leave my house at 7.50. I get to school around 8.20, which is only 10 minutes before it starts. But because I have first grade prep, it really doesn't matter because I'm very efficient with my time and I don't need to be getting there super early like sometimes I see teachers and they're there like an hour before school starts I'm like what are you doing with your life <laughs> like I'm not paid for this I'm not going to be there when I don't need to be there but anyways today was super productive I got my planning for the entire next week done during my lunch and I made all of my copies and it feels very good to get all of that just situated so I feel like I have a head start on the next week and I am totally caught up on everything. And this is while I have also been taking a college math class. So basically teaching math was a career change for me. I majored in criminal justice for undergrad and then I got my master's in education. So I took the CSETs to get my basically credentials to teach through integrated math too. But because I didn't want to teach calculus and I didn't have the desire to take the test, and it's been a really long time since I've even taken calculus. I was like, okay, I need a refresher course before I take that test. So I'm taking calculus right now again and also trying to add that onto my credential. So that way I have the flexibility to teach whatever I want. So even though I don't really think I wanna teach it anyways, it's still nice to have it. And it's nice to be able to just constantly have things to do because I'm, like I said, I'm efficient at getting things done, which feels great. So anyways, yeah very productive day and then I get home at around 4 15 4 30 depending on how long traffic is and all of that situation sometimes I work out close to where I work so I pack all my life with me and then I won't get home to 7 30 and then other times I come home like today I came home I got here at 4 30 and now I'm gonna work out and then come back home eat dinner relax stretch walk yeah that's pretty much it. So I'll show you the rest of the stuff that I do after I get home from work. All right. So as far as all of the health and fitness protocols that I engage in go when I get home from work, because that's essentially my primary focus in terms of literally everything I do as soon as I'm off of work, I will mention, first of all, that I do take two rest days from actually lifting every week. But as I mentioned earlier in this video, this was a day where I did in fact have a lifting session. So my lifting sessions take about two hours. And then when I get home, if it is a lifting day, the first thing I'll do is I'll go home and eat again. And I also eat like basically a second lunch before my workout. And then after dinner is when I'll make up the difference between the steps that I need to get to 10,000. However, very first thing I do is something active no matter what, even if it is a rest day. I'll just do a longer length walk. Like I'll do 
a three mile or more longer length trail walk instead of a night walk that's only about a mile and a half to make up the difference to get to 10,000. And then after that, part of my unwinding routine and still health habit is the stretching and meditation component where I stretch for about 50 minutes, five, zero minutes, literally every single day because that is a huge part of my goals right now. And yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> All right, and the very last component of my day in the life is stretching. So I go over all of my protocols in specific, a lot more details in the last video where I talk about my four movement-based health habits for 2024. But yeah, I'll show you some of the stretches right now. She's literally the best puppy ever for always sticking with me during my stretches. <laughs> So just a very quick rundown on my stretching. If you want me to go into further details, I talk all about it in my last video, but essentially I use the pliability stretching app. They have you hold stretches for two to five minutes. You actually see visible change in your flexibility when you're holding it past that two minute mark. And honestly, stretching is one of my favorite parts of the day. I look forward to it every single day and it's helped me stay super healthy and just happy, calm, meditative. Love it, highly recommend. All right, thank you so much for watching today's YouTube video. As far as posting schedule goes, I generally wanna aim for every Wednesday, but my realistic goal is twice a month, so two Wednesdays a month, about every other week. Um, but Wednesdays is the day. I feel good about Wednesdays. <laughs> we are going to be at least moderately consistent on here in 2024. But please let me know what topics you want me to go over in future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!